What is going on people? Welcome back to Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind Game of the Year Edition. I'm your host Forrest and this is episode 10 of my Let's Play with Live Commentary. So we got some pretty awesome stuff in the last couple of episodes. And that's going to continue again here. So, the first thing I need to do is I need to get a better Curious than what I'm using because... Yeah, I've got the Daedric one, but, you know, I want the best stuff, right? So, how can I get this? You might be asking, where am I going to go? Which Curious am I going to use? It doesn't take that long to get there. All I'm going to tell you right now is there's a hundred lock. Um, well, two two hundred locks, actually. That stops you from getting this item. I'll say no more until I get there. But I need to go from here to Vivek. I'm going to try and get two things in this episode again. Um, I'm not sure if I can do that. It depends how quickly I get one and the other. But I'm going to do my best at least. I mean, I think the playthrough's gone pretty smooth, quite uh, frankly, at the minute. Build is looking pretty solid. Still level one. Uh, making some good progress in terms of the build. Getting a lot of things that I would use for my, like, my ultimate character. I wouldn't use Goldbrand, even though it's a really good weapon. So, we're going to travel to Ebonart. Yeah, I wouldn't use Goldbrand, I wouldn't use Mentor's Ring. I wouldn't use the Daedric Curus that's pre-enchanted. Because I'm going to get the Curious that I will be using for my ultimate character in this episode. That is the deal. That's what I'm looking for. So, we've made it to Ebonheart, right? So, let's look at our map. I do need to get water walking ready for this. So, water walking. Right. Jump off the boat. As you do. Alright, get water walking spell ready. For when we need to. Keep going south. Walk on water. So what I'm looking for is a very small island. That's what I'm searching for. I'll know when I see it. I don't believe that's it. Nah, I didn't think it would be. I don't think it's this one with these two uh, mud crabs on. It definitely doesn't look like the place that you would want to go. It's taking a long time to load that. I know I'm pretty close to it though. Don't think it's this side either. I must be really close to this. But for some reason it's the entrance is eluding me right now. I'm pretty sure it's round here somewhere. Has been a long time since I tried to get this artifact. So my, uh, sometimes my bearings can be a little bit off. Right, I'm going to have to use a restore fatigue, po uh, fatigue potion or two. Or three, that works as well. So I can recast water walking. I will need to do some water breathing as well. But the first thing I need to do is locate where it is. Which I'm having a few difficulties trying to find the entrance. I just know it's in one of these areas somewhere. But there's a few islands scattered around, around this area. It might be further south. Oh, 
Like when I find it, I'll know I found it. But the problem is it's finding it because it's such a small island. Where is it man? It's round here somewhere. There's not that many islands round here. Is it this one? No, it's the, yeah, it's this one. It is the one with the two mud crabs on it. Right. Perfect. Water breathing at the ready. Moodin Grotto. Yeah, sorry about that. It took me a little bit of time to find that. I knew it was around my area somewhere. Ideally, this is where you want swift swim, but water breathing works. Especially with uh, booster blinding speed on. That definitely works. Mooden Lost Dwemer Checkpoint. Now we actually have to go further in. There are some enemies potentially in the water. But we should be quick enough to get away from them. There we go. Right, this is the first lock with a hundred lock on it. That gives you 50, 150. Yeah, that'll put me close to max. Right, while that does that, I'm going to change to the master key. And it's also trapped this lock. Right, what's my chances? 26%. Failed. Restore. We try again. Failed again. Third time we got in. Right. We endured the trap. Which didn't do much to us. Right. Restore. All that. Now we need to do some killing up here. So. Hopefully we can take this out of level 1. We do have Elton, we do have Gobran though, so. Oh! He doesn't like that shit. One more! One more hit! Get owned! That's how you beat a Steam Guardian at level 1. Holy shit! Potion of Heroism. Value 1456. That is awesome. Really, really good. Yeah, I'll take the Dwarm coins. They're very lightweight and high value items. I don't believe there's a Dwarm tube in here. That's a spear. Another coin. Dwarm braces. Master's Armor Hammer. That's not bad. Doesn't mean I'm going to take it though, but it's it's not too bad. Great soul gem, I'll take that. I can make some money with that. And there's nothing there. What's in the keg? A diamond. Not bad. So this is the second one that's locked. We get through. Can we endure this one? We do. Right. Now this is going to be awesome. Check this out. Dragonbone Curious. Value 180,000. Resist fire 100% on self. Right, now we can uh, recall. Nice, first time recall, that's what I want us to be seeing. This is awesome now. Check this out. Dragon Bone Curious, 120 armor rating at my current heavy armor skill. 50 weight, 180,000 gold. Constant effect, resist fire 100% on self. Equip. And then the Daedric one, this guy can, uh, this guy can have. Right, I do need to rest. Actually, do I need to rest? No, I can just use a potion, man. That'll work. 
So they give you 10 points and I need like three of them. Not too bad. So we've got the first item and I'm gonna, that's my ultimate curious actually for this particular character. So what does that mean right now for my character? Level one, I have immunity to fire, immunity to frost damage, and an 80, I think 70 or 80 percent resistance to shock. I think 80. 50 for the racial bonus and 30 percent for Den Stagman's ring. So I'm in a pretty good place right now. Now, in order to get the next piece that I'm looking for, I will need to go a little bit out of my way to get it. And it's going to be a lot more difficult to actually get. So we're going to go to, yeah, Vivek. A solid choice. It's crazy we're already, this is the 10th episode already, it's gone so quick man. Time just flies when you play games like this. They don't make games like this anymore, especially not RPG. Okay, so we have we need to go to um, Cool. And then from Cool we need to uh, do some hovering and stuff. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to get the hover spell ready, like so. Hopefully I've got time to get this item that I want. I've got about 12 minutes left to record. <clears throat> so I'm about halfway through the video. And we've already found one, so that's pretty good. I could have probably done like 2 or 3 minutes quicker, but... I couldn't find the entrance, man. I was looking all over for it. I was like, I know it's around here somewhere, but... I just couldn't find it. But I've not played this game for about... Over a year before I started this let's play so I'm it's hard to do this off memory especially when they're in specific areas now mock hopefully people are enjoying it if you are leave a like uh, or a comment or whatever or do both that would be awesome It does show you how easy it is to get overpowered in, in Morrowind, if you know what you're doing, but you can set up for any game. Right, travel to cool. I don't have a shield yet, but, you know, we may be doing that later. I mean, I could get a really good shield in Dren Plantation, but it's not going to be... It's just going to be an interim shield, it's not going to be the one that I'm going to be using. Okay, so we've made it to cool. Awesome, right? Now from here, <clears throat> I do need to go quite a bit of distance. It's probably going to take me a few minutes to to find the uh, the area I'm looking for. So we're going to bring the map up, pressing the the button for the map, and the map's not coming up. There we go. Yeah, I think I need to be round here. Around this area. I'm already on. I've got like 10 minutes to try and get this item. Doable for sure, but it's not going to be easy. Because I've got to find it pretty sharpish. But we're definitely looking a lot better in terms of the character. Especially with now we have the uh, Dragon Bone Curious. So we no longer have to worry about fire attacks, because they're not going to do shit to me. Frost attacks don't do anything to begin with. Because, uh... I'm immune to frost damage. Although, admittedly, there isn't a lot of frost damage in base Morrowind, but it's still nice to have. Shot damage... You can come across shot quite a lot, but I do have an 80% probability of being able to avoid taking damage. And I've got spell absorption, so we're not in a bad place. 
consider I'm still base level. Now I believe it's further down. I'll know I'll know it when I see it though. I think it's further south. I think. Could be wrong about that. I've been wrong before. No, actually I think I need to go a bit further further inland. Oh, is this it? Is this the name I want to... Is this what I'm looking for? No, it's not. It's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. It must be further. I thought I found it then. But it was a troll. So unfortunate. The game's just trolled me. Something uh, chronic. It's got to be around there somewhere. I think it's further this way. The problem is finding the plagues. Once you find it, you, you, you're you alright if you know where you're going. Right, that's got to be it, right? Yeah, this must be it. If it's called Koga Ruin, it will be the one. Yeah, Koga Ruin. Awesome. Go a bit higher. Not that high. Yeah, over here. It's not in the temple. Die? No, you die. It was once a piece. Hall of Fisto. Now, I don't really remember where this is. I just know it's in this area somewhere. So we're going to figure it out together. Ooh, an Ash Slave. Game was loading there, that's why it was like super slow motion. Come on, let me like attack him. There we go. Oh shit, that's the Dago, I don't want to fuck with him. Run past him. Now let's go down there. Hall of Mackie. I've got about six minutes to find this. Can I do it in six minutes? We'll find out. If I remember where I'm going. Wooden door. Haha! -ha. I resist your magic! I can't hit him. Oh! There we go. Right. Come down here. Vault of a road. I think he might be in there, actually. I think it might be... I might be going the right way, hopefully. Open that. Ooh, bone lord. No, this is not the place. Well, there is an exquisite robe there, surprisingly. 45 speed, I'll take that. Alright, is it in this one? No, definitely not. Close that door. Shit. It's not in this one. It must be the other the other side. I always have problems finding this. Right, open that. One more hit. That's all I need. There we go. Right. Through here. Yeah. Down here. Now I'm going to have to open this. Damn, I don't have any... Um, restore fatigue, so that's going to be a pain. Come on. Let me in. There we go. I'm 
running out of time trying to find this. I've got about four minutes to find it. Now I know it's in one of these tunnels somewhere to get to the next area. Now let's just run past him. I haven't got time to mess about with cannon fodder. I'm on a mission. Right. Speed past him. Swimming through. Right. I need to find, I think it's called Karma's Breath or something. Through here. I'm really pushing these episodes to the limit. Yeah, this is the place. Athletics has increased. Yeah, Karma's Breath. Now I need to try and find where it actually is. I think it's in a... Um, it's not in a chest. Ugh. Shit. These guys are everywhere. I only need one hit. There we go. Right. Is it this way? No. Definitely not. Don't think it's that way either. Get the map up. Bleeding heart. It might be in bleeding heart actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah, it, it is in this area. The problem is. These guys are here. One more hit. That's all I need. There we go. Oh shit, the other one wants a piece. God, I hate these things sometimes. You have to kill them the old fashioned way. There we go. Yeah, I've trapped a soul, but no big deal. Because it's in that, and it's worth 6.3k now. Awesome. Right, is our path clear? Damn, there's always another enemy, man. Take that potion, though. He knows I'm here, and I don't like that. <laughs> right, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do quickly is I'm gonna get recall ready. Right, where is this item that I seek? It's around here somewhere. There it is. Left and right. I've got a 24% chance of casting this. First time. That is awesome. I couldn't be more pleased with how that went. Because now, what we can do is... I use the left one. So I can drop this and this, plus I don't need the Vampire Vardenfell book right now, or the Dwarma coins, the diamond as well. Potion of Heroism he can keep because that's a really unique piece. Unequip this, equip Vampire, uh, what am I doing? Unequip that, right, equip Denstagma's ring, awesome. Thank you for watching, feel free to like, comment, share and of course subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time, peace.